Just the whole memorial itself actually shed light on a lot of things. It's, it is very educational from even watching, you know, Hotel de Rwanda or whatever. And you, you kind of get a sense of the story, but, you know, with coming through here, you get it more in depth. It is very chilling within itself because, it, it, you know, it is real. And it kind of leaves that thing in your mind to wonder how, how it could happen once and how the international community could have just stood by and just make it happen. What do you think you can do uh, together with the Edges Trust just to make it known and to protect uh, Junsa survivors? Well, what I think what we can do is basically try within a bit throughout our art and our music to raise the awareness uh, and kind of send that strong message that what happened here was wrong, it was immoral, and um, pretty much try your best to prevent it in the future. Prevention, right, is what it is. You know, and I don't think I think they should use what happened here as a testimony, right, of, of this pretty much not happening anywhere else in the world ever again. And I think we as musicians should try and do that. Uh, last week, uh, last weekend, we had Sean Paul here, and he said on stage that uh, Rwanda is giving hope to the rest of the world. Uh, you agree with him? Well, I think uh, definitely it, it it does give that kind of hope because not, not only that, if you look at it at 14 years, it's not a very long time. When you talk to people around here, you can see that they're on their way back. There's a lot of hope here. If you can come to a country like this that has gone through such a tragedy. Uh, in such a short period of time and see that they basically come together as one people, you know what I mean, to be a for the betterment of their country, then it is a sign of, uh, of not just hope, but it's a symbol of hope.